Every Easter and Christmas, I put my cubes down and make a video about something really important to me. Okay, just kidding, I'm still holding a cube, but... Okay, I've put it down now. My message today is simple. I have three really good reasons why you should not go to church. If that surprises you, I can't believe I'm saying it either. <laughs> but if you're willing to hear me out on this, I then want to give you three reasons why you should go to church. Reason one, why you shouldn't go to church. Some churches are not nice places at all. And I'm not even talking about the really bad ones you hear about in the news. Those are obvious. I mean churches that may have open doors, but they probably wish they could close them to people who don't look like them, talk like them, live like them. Churches where you leave feeling more judged than loved, more, more guilty than encouraged, where the leaders don't want to hear any of your questions, like your real genuine questions. Avoid, avoid, avoid. Reason number two why you shouldn't go to church is if you think it'll make God more happy with you. If you, if you think it'll earn you points that you can cash in one day to get to heaven. I hate to break it to you, but according to the Bible, it doesn't work that way. Wanting to impress God or even impress others is a great reason not to go to church. Reason three, you shouldn't go to church if it's a church that has strayed from its calling. If it's a church that almost never opens the Bible, and even when it does, the pastor seems to just be trying to push an agenda rather than trying to understand what God is saying. Or a church that tells you that Jesus came to give you success and happiness without anything real to say about what it means to suffer or have hope. A church that only cares about you when you're well and not when you're sick. Those are all real and valid reasons why I think you should not go to church. But I still go to church and it's because I have the perfect one. Not. I mean, don't even look at anyone else in my church. The very fact that I'm in it immediately makes it flawed. I'm human. I, I judge, often without realizing it. I'm well aware that I don't always practice what I preach. My church is still very flawed. But there are three reasons why I still go. Number one, church is where you get to know Jesus. Of course, everything you need to know about God is in the Bible, but Church is the best environment in which growth happens. A faithful church will want to help you know Jesus better. They'll welcome any question you have, be a safe space for genuine seekers and not force you to stay. They'll help you see who Jesus really is, not some soft stereotype, but the Jesus whose love for you is deep and strong. And they'll do so with kindness and grace because they know that's exactly how Jesus treated them. If you want to know more about Jesus, you need to go to a good church. Reason number two, church is where you learn who you really are. If God is real, and if he really made you, then guess what? You have a purpose, and there is a way you can find it out. A faithful church will tell you all the things you want to hear, that you are loved beyond belief, that you have worth just in who you are, but also all the things that you may not want to hear, that, that you have strayed from God, and you're in desperate need of rescue. A good church will very lovingly help you see that life isn't about you. And the moment you realize that is when life starts to have more meaning than ever before. If you really want to know yourself, go to a good church. Reason number three, church is where you find family. Biologically, I have one sister, but in reality, I have so many brothers and sisters who I know I can fully count on, just as they know they can count on me. And you would guess it because I'm so little in common with many of them. Different ages, different interests, different status, like you name it. But we all have the same beliefs. The same God who showed us what true commitment to each other looks like. And so we do the same to each other. In a good church, you will find a family who will immediately love you as you are, but also love you too much to leave you as you are. People who will not only celebrate with you, but will cry with you carry burdens for you. I am so grateful for people in my church who have walked alongside me through periods of deep suffering and pain in my life. If you want to find the family you never knew you needed, go to a good church and stay there. Now, some of you have been deeply hurt by people in a church and I don't want to ignore that. I'm so sorry that happened. And I think you'll find only one person who's even more upset about that. Jesus himself. Like, look in the Bible. Nothing made Jesus more angry than hypocrites. Like those who did harm in God's name. How dare you, he would say. Yet the Bible says that Jesus still loves the church because the church isn't an organization or a building. It's the people. People who knew they did nothing to deserve God's love, but they got it anyway. Beggars telling other beggars where to find bread, as someone once put it. Find yourself a church like that and start going. Or see how you can make your own church more like that. If you made it all the way here, I really appreciate it. Please be respectful in the comments as always, and I'll see you in the next video. 
with more cubes. Happy Easter.